Alright, welcome back. It will be time to do some air battles. Now, I was asked if I enjoy driving tanks more than flying aircraft, and honestly, that's a that's kind of a tricky question to answer because I love both tanks and I love aircraft. Uh, the aircraft mode isn't really out yet. You can play aircraft, but there is no specific mode where you can choose only to play uh, to. Uh, to play the air battles, but they are working on it, and I am really hoping that they will be releasing it very soon. But honestly, so far, the the air battles are very fun. Uh, however, I do enjoy both tanks and uh, and aircraft. I haven't been playing ships, although that will probably change very soon. But in any case, let's jump right in the battles. Now I would say that this is perhaps my favorite fighter jet at the moment. It has a very, uh, let's say, very nasty main main auto cannon, and uh, it really does kill uh, within the first couple of hits. It's also uh, quite maneuverable. Uh, so yeah, when the when they release more planes, I am definitely getting this thing. And yeah. Uh, one aspect that I kind of forgot is that I can crash, so that was kind of kind of a hilarious start. Okay, let's go to the next one. Now this is a, a very interesting uh, little, very interesting little propeller-driven plane. It has missiles. Now the missiles are mostly used for ground targets. I'm definitely not going to uh, hit any any other planes or similar, but it has. It has quad uh, alt cans that seem to be doing really good damage. That was a that was very nice, a very nice kill, and that player has a very interesting name to say the least. Now this thing uh, feels kind of heavy to fly because it is kind of heavy to fly. When I say heavy. It has that weight to it. Uh, it's a big plane, but it does it does do some good damage. That was the second kill. Let me see if I can. Nope. Okay. Uh, time ran out. So oh well, fair enough. Let's go to the next match. Now, uh, as I mentioned, th this thing is just my favorite. Just look at. Yeah, there we go. Th th this is just like. Yeah, I have no words. This thing, this thing is just wild. It has a, um, uh, it is a, I think a 1950s plane. It does kind of remind me on, on that era, uh, but it, it is awesome. This thing is just awesome. I like it. It's fast. It's very agile, and most importantly, it has a very, very nice main, main can, and it, it does. Uh, I, I, it does do some very very good damage when it hits. It's very easy to fight as well. Very easy to fight. I'm trying. There we go. Nice. Oof. That was a that was a nasty hit. That was a, a lightly armored object 906. You can penetrate the lightly armored vehicles easily with that thing. Now the Master Schmidt. This is a. I would say probably one of my favorite World War II aircraft, but the problem with this thing is that it isn't really maneuvering that well. It has uh, some very nice main weapons, that's for sure. It, it has some very nice weapons and uh, high caliber machine gun, but it, when you are trying to move, uh, this, this thing is really, uh, how to explain it, it's kind of difficult to fly. It does uh, lose a lot of speed uh, while turning and it doesn't really turn that fast as well so uh, that's I would say the, the main two reasons why this is kinda hard to fly is it historically accurate I honestly have no idea all I know is that this thing was quite dangerous uh, back in World War II when it was launched wasn't in service for long but it was a very dangerous aircraft and the game gave me the Messerschmitt again, which is fine. I mean, it, it does do very good damage. Uh, 
quad 50 caliber machine guns, I believe. That's uh, the main armament of this thing. But you will be outmaneuvered in the sky by almost everything. And yeah, uh, trying to turn with this is like turning into a bomber. Uh, it's very, uh, very difficult to turn. But once you put the nose down and go full throttle, you can uh, outrun most of uh, of the planes that uh, will be chasing you. But it's still very difficult to fly. And it does. Uh, sometimes I actually feel like my internet is not good when I fly this thing. That's just how weird it feels. I mean, just look at how how it behaves. I I feel like this thing is about to crash at any moment. That would be kind of funny. Right, let's go to the next. Right, a P fifty. Well, actually, I don't think that this is a P fifty. Has bombs there. Yeah, this is a bomber. Okay, I am doing a bombing run now. This is some bombers. Uh, are not that bad to control. This one, this is one of them, I believe. It is quite agile and it's also quite fast. So hopefully, I launch, I landed the bombs. Hopefully, the bombs land where I want them to go. Now, uh, since this thing, okay, I got one kill, perfect. And I think I might get a aircraft kill here. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I got the second kill. Nice. One ground target destroyed and one fighter destroyed. So this this bomber does feel uh, like a like a normal fighter once you drop the bombs because it's lighter and more maneuverable when the big bomb is detached. Now this little thing uh, is also really really fun. Uh, it's also really fast. Besides being fast, it has a very nasty. Uh, main gun, very similar to the previous plane that I was that was flying and as you can see it's knocked that plane out of the sky from a very long distance so this might be my second favorite so far it did and yeah, uh, I kind of messed up to go uh, to go right at the uh, SPAA with a nose dive, that was a that was quite sick Okay, uh, I am in a Stukan. I think this is a Stuka, looks like one. And so we are doing a bomb, you know, a dive bomber. And payloads out, bombs are out. And I have second bomb, launching bomb. Okay, perfect. Now, let's see. Where is. That. That, fi that fighter was chasing me. Now I'm chasing them with this huge mountain of a plane. Now, surprisingly, well, or not surprisingly, it has a very... this thing has a very nice uh, main... it has very nice main weaponry. Am I going to get a kill? Yes, I am. Just on time as the match was ending. That was a good kill. Next! I love when I have a, a bomber surf like that. Just launch full on salvo into it, and yeah, I think I I destroyed the wing, or I destroyed something. Not really sure what, but that was enough to bring them down. Next, let's not crash in a tree. I hit 600 km per hour with this with this fighter jet. That's nice. And also, this thing looks very pretty. I like the design of it. Yeah, that was a very nice turn. Very maneuverable. Uh, did I mess up? Did I? Yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I did hit a crew member, but I also crashed my... my jet. So, uh, let's see... I have a, I have high ping, so... let's wait for the ping to go down a little bit if that's possible. If not, I well, guess it's not possible. Any anyway, full... Barrage it to the enemy. There we go. Bomber destroyed. I hit 700 plus kilometer per hour. This thing is fast. I almost crashed into the tree. This thing is ridiculously fast. And yeah, <laughs> that's what happens when you're flying low altitude with with over 700 kilometer per hour. But yeah, that thing is fast. 
a very fast little jet. Actually, twin jet. It has two jets. Two jet engines attached to it to its wings. That was a very nice long range kill, and they're still flying. Well, they're not. They won't be flying for long, that's for sure. Okay, nose up. Low pass with 170 km per hour. I crashed because uh, I had I have enemies nearby, so I didn't want to lose the tank. But let's go to the next battle. We well, have to quickly accelerate. Just point the nose down for a couple seconds, and the the plane will pick up a lot of speed during that. It's, it is helpful when you have to chase down some uh, some enemies that are quite far away from you. Okay, nice. One more kill. Perfect. Let's point the nose up. Then let me see. Where do we have some targets? I might have to crash again. Or, yeah, I crashed again because... Ah, yeah, I think I'm dead. My tank might be already... There is no saving. This tank is dead. I got caught. It is very important that your tank is safe when you're doing this so that you don't get killed. Don't do what I do. I usually just launch from anywhere on the map since... Uh, I just... When I record planes, I usually uh, just try to... To start from anywhere. Since... Oh, what kind of maneuver was that? Did you see that? I don't know how I did it, but I did something kind of funny. Anyway, uh, we destroyed all of the all of the enemy planes during that battle. Let's go to the next one. I crash a lot because uh, I'm usually in the middle of a tank battle. So when I kill the aircraft, I just try to end the air battle as quick as possible so that I can go back into the tank. And that was a very sweet kill, although, yeah, that bomber, let's not get hit by the debris. That bomber got torn to shreds. Okay, the anti-aircraft weaponry is working, let's not get torn to shreds by anti-aircraft. I, I really like to fight this thing, it, it is, this is very, this is a very fun, uh, very fun jet. J look at how big the map is, I, I think we can actually whiz it all the, all the map that you see. The, the level the map for the tanks is just that little area, but the whole area, as you can see, is also part of the game, and with, uh, with an aircraft, you can actually go there. Well, I, I got I got set on fire. I can still land. I, I can still land, but yeah, it's... Uh, I kind of survived there. Next, let's go and chase down the enemy bomber. Let me see if I can get this bomber from a very long... They, they're going up there, they are picking up... Um, oh, oof, that was nasty, that, that was just nasty, I feel, I kind of feel bad for that. Yeah, I kind of feel bad. <laughs> that was, that was a nasty hit. Nose up! Alright, there we go, that was a risky low pass with over 700 km per hour velocity. But yeah, you, you can actually visit the whole map, this is the the whole thing here is is the map in the game which i find awesome you don't really see that uh from the perspective of a tank but everything you can go anywhere basically there is no uh wall uh, you can literally fight if you if you want there just like that of course that was a abrupt uh landing that unplanned rapid disassembly as some would call it next Let's go and do a nose dive to pick up speed. Altitude 600 meters. I actually did hit that a uh, couple times from over 700 meters, and that was actually enough to cripple one of the engines of the bomber. I, I got killed, but that's that doesn't matter. I got the I got the bomber, so yeah, that's fine. I wasn't my tank wasn't really that that protected so yeah I do enjoy the the air battles a lot they're really fun okay let me see if I can get a lightly armored vehicle although I, I don't think that's happening to be honest 
having 73 km per hour, nose dive, and the timer is up. Oh well, in any case, that was a good, that was a good run. Let's go to the next one. Nose dive, picking my speed, and let me see. I, I'm. I don't really need to use the lead marker because I'm already kind of used to shooting without it. I think that bomber is already crippled. They're, they seem to be falling down. Yeah, they're falling down. They're definitely crashing. Yeah, there we go. Nice. You know what I'll have to... You know what I'll have to try? I will try to break the sound barrier in one of the next short videos that I'll, that's, uh, I'll do. I'm very curious to, to know if if they did animate the um, the sound barrier. It would be kind of funny to uh, to see that if they m if they made. I, I think they did, but we'll have to check it. Uh, almost hit, almost hit the tower. There. That was that was kind of funny. Next. Uh, now this little this little plane is awesome. I'm not really sure if I did fly it before, but this thing just this is a this is like technically a bomber, uh, but it is very agile and uh, it has a very nasty main gun. And let me see if I can drop the bomb on someone. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, let's just bomb for you. Let's nose up. Oh, that was a very nice loop. And this this thing can just loop around all day long. It's incredible. Very very agile. And I did destroy the milk truck. All right, nice. That's a Panther IV. I did manage to Panther the the upper armor and did some damage inside. Let's see. That's a no damage from that tank. Okay, that's a heavily armored Tiger. And I ran out of time. Oh well, that was a good one anyway. Next! We have... We have no aircraft! Okay, well, fair enough. Might just go and... And go back to the tank below, if that's the case. Okay, joke aside, uh, let's not... Uh, let's see if I can get some uh, lightly armored vehicles with, with this plane. I was... So, sometimes the teammates are just so good that they clear everything. So I don't get to shoot at anything, but that's fine. Nose up. No, let's not crash. The propeller can be can be used as uh, kind of a weapon to to break the the back tail of a bomber. If you run out of ammo, use the propeller and just fly nearby the bomber. And somehow I didn't crash. Uh, somehow I did not crash there kind of surprised. Okay, I'm I'm, uh, I'm I'm doing a nose dive. Forgot to speak for a second. Though. Happens, it's very late, I'm very sleepy. I haven't been shot down yet uh, the whole day actually, which is kind of surprising. Okay, let me drop some bombs. Ooh. How did I not crash? I have no idea. How I didn't kill anything? Uh, that's even a that's even a better question. How are these tanks alive? I dropped the bomb right, uh, right on top of them. I'm being chased. That's not a big deal. You can actually lose the plane chasing you if you're flying low, and if they don't pull up pull up the nose on time, they crash. That's a trick that I sometimes use. All right, well, that was a very that was a very nice little run uh, with the planes. Uh, these are some very nice air battles as well. Really enjoyable to uh, really enjoying to fly the aircraft. And again, as I said it in some previous times, in some previous videos, I cannot wait for them to add the the air mode. It will be very fun and swift. That being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to support me, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, stay safe. And I'll see you next time.